Spit! Don't reach for that firearm! Walk away from your bike! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Go down to your knees! Do not reach for that firearm! Do not reach for that firearm! Go down to your knees! Go down to your stomach! Do not reach for that firearm! Go down to your stomach now! Do not reach for that firearm! Do not reach for that firearm! You hear me? Go ahead and secure him. What? He got the firearm on his side. You're being secure because you're openly carrying a firearm. What? You're openly carrying a firearm. I'm carrying a pepper ball. You already know that. I do not know that. That is a firearm. That is a firearm right now. That's a firearm. I do not know it's a pepper ball. That looks like a regular firearm. You know it's a pepper ball. Even seen in case you know told you in the email. He even told you in the email that it's a pepper ball. Stay with him. Do you have anything on you? Roll on your side. All right, go ahead and stand up. You can stay at your bike. Hear me? Leave my camera No, alone. you're not going to talk to me. Okay, I dictate this traffic stop, not you. You understand what? me? What are you yanking my helmet I'm off? I'm trying to take your helmet off. What are you yanking my helmet I'm off? I'm trying to identify you because I can't you're see you. You're trying to identify me? Bro, leave my camera alone. What are you doing? Okay. Go ahead and sit up. Stay right there. Hang tight, I gotta... What is this? You it is a fire. Is. No, I do not. You know it's a pepper ball. Stop it, man. All right, I'm gonna Stop take it, it up. Stop with that bullshit. Stop with that bullshit. All right, Jeremy, you're being arrested for carrying a concealed weapon. Concealed? It was in plain view. That's not plain view. It's concealed. That whole thing should be in it. What are you talking about? How the fuck are you? What are you talking about? It's a plain view. Florida shots in nine seconds. What are you talking about? Give me a sergeant. Give me a lieutenant. Give me a lieutenant. It was just plain view. It's a plain view. How am I being arrested? Call, call for a cage car. Okay. Go Give me a lieutenant. Go ahead and stand up, Jeremy. Give me a lieutenant. Give me a lieutenant. Give me a lieutenant! Jeremy, just be quiet. No, give me a lieutenant! Sir. Jeremy, just be quiet. You gotta, you can't... Come on, man. Give me a Got lieutenant! Him. Jeremy, be quiet. Give me a lieutenant! You, I, I quit! This is bullshit! Have him call for a record for the bike. Hear me? He wasn't talking. Sit down. To me. No, I'm oh, telling yeah. you to sit down. Okay. Go ahead and sit down. On, on the ground. On the ground until we get a cage car. I don't want you falling back. You're falling off over the side. Go ahead and sit down on your butt. Take your legs out. I check. You're not getting a lieutenant. You're gonna be quiet. Why You're gonna be quiet. Why am I having to? Why is 970 not valid now? Why is even Casey Miller's email not valid now? Why is that not valid now? I don't understand. We're not. It was in plain. Jeremy, view. Jeremy, Legally listen to me. Carried. Jeremy, you listen to me. You guys told us that. You guys are
shutting the body camera off to make a phone call. All right. Sergeant. Listen, you're you're free to go. I, I don't have anything on you. You're free to go. So you can do what you you can do what you need. You do, I need you to call. Right you you do have a license, right? Oh, take take my phone off my bike right there. Okay, no no no, but you're free take to go. Take my phone. No. Jeremy, Jeremy, I'm going to explain this to you right now, and I want you to listen up, and I want you to stop running your mouth. Okay. All right, you sound like a little child out here running no, your no, mouth. No, no, Okay, like listen to me. me Jeremy, listen to me. All I'm right. going to tell it to you. All right, sorry. Okay? You're being arrested for carrying a concealed weapon. That's what you're being charged with. When we get off the roadside, I'm not going to argue with you here on the roadside. This isn't the place or time to argue with you. Not... Listen to me. Huh. It's not the time or place to argue with you. When we're done here, I'm going to take you back to the station, and then we'll talk about it. But I'm not going to argue with you up here on I-4. It's not the place. It's not the time. But Sergeant, okay. I'm not so listen to me. You are con it's How? a concealed weapon. I said when we get off this roadway, I will discuss it with you. But I'm not going to discuss it with you here. We're, it's not. It's a bad place. But it's in so as soon as you, as soon as as soon as the car gets here to put you in the car and the record gets here, we'll go talk. Yeah, okay. You, All right. That's it.
Oh, sorry, what's that? Not him again. Yep. All right, what's the need? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in your car, and then uh, we're probably going to go to um, our office for an interview. Okay. Okay? I'll uh, the motor office. All right, I'll let my supervisor know. Okay. Do you have anything of value in the bike that needs to be taken? No, sorry. Okay. I got the keys. You want your wallet to go with you? Yeah, bring the wallet. Put your hat. Why am I being arrested for open carry? Yeah, check that out. Check that out. That's locked. Where's our mark? Oh. Jeremy, do you need your glass case or anything? Jeremy, I already spoke to you and I told you what was going to happen. I told you what was going to happen and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave this in your bike because you're not going to be able to take this to the, to the jail. Okay. Got those keys. Do you, do you want these keys in, in the bag? You want you, you want them to go with you? Okay. All right, we're ready. All right. He's uh talking to Corporal Wolfwood. We'll come okay. in and start. Please, wallet. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, here's, here's here's the thing too. I'm uh, my camera's going. And get him in the car. Do not discuss anything with him. Don't talk to him. He's gonna be running his mouth all the way. Just, just ignore it. Okay. Okay, Jeremy. We're gonna go ahead and stand up and go back to the car. Ready? One, two, three. So, Sergeant, how is it concealed if I wasn't wearing a jacket and you rode up next to me and you clearly saw it? How is it concealed? Can you answer that, Sergeant? I'm asking. How is it concealed? If it was in plain view, how is it concealed? I'm going to search for it. Okay. Right here. Check your legs out. You're, 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 you're destroying my business by doing what you're doing. And I didn't do anything illegal today. I'm not yeah. wearing anything over my belt. I'm not hiding anything. You rode up next to me and you clearly saw it on my hip. So how is that carrying a concealed weapon? It's not even a weapon, it's for less lethal purposes, self-defense purposes. How is that illegal? Sergeant, I'm asking you a question. You have enough cards here to protect us from the accident. So explain that to me. If it's in plain view, when exactly was it concealed? If it's on my belt, your weapon's on your belt, is that concealed? Sergeant. Officer Alexander, your weapon's on your belt. Is it sealed? Can you clearly see that? Those are... I'm a little confused. Sergeant. There's nothing else. You got no knives in your boots, right? No, I can't. You want to check the boots? Yeah. You want to take the gloves off, Jimmy? I'm wearing my weapon in plain view. How is it? How is it concealed? Nothing in it. Sergeant. Sergeant Biddle. Jeremy, I already explained it to you. I'm no, not going to discuss no, it you here. you didn't explain it to me. You're charging me for a concealed weapon. Okay, but what did I tell you? We'll discuss this back at the station. I'm not going to discuss it out here with you. Just go ahead and get in there, Jeremy. Get this closer and I'll double up. You're totally
you're towing, check, check the pocket. You're towing my bike and you're putting me into custody for a concealed weapon when it was in plain view. And it wasn't a weapon, it's a self-defense pepper ball. So how is that illegal? Thank you, Mr. Robert. Sergeant? Stephen Casey Miller even emailed you saying that they weren't illegal. And your law and your lawyers at your sheriff's office said it wasn't illegal. It's the Velcro. Okay. It's the Velcro. Yeah. I got you. Sorry. Even your okay. own attorney. Okay. Hold even on. Your hold own on. attorney at the sheriff's office sent you an email saying that it's not illegal for us to carry our pepper balls in plain view. Okay. Go ahead and get in. Jeremy, sit down. I, I, sit down, put your butt all the way to there. Put your back against that wall. Slide in. Okay. Slide in. Watch your knee. There you go. Oh, now you want to be nice? Gloves. Uh, um, no, the, the motor, just hang tight here until the tow truck. Once I get the bike loaded, we'll go back to the motor office and it's like the floor. Got it. Okay. That's good. You need a bag or anything for that? Yeah. I did not check the wallet. I, I, um, I didn't turn the gloves inside out, but I, I pressed on them. They handed me the wallet and the other stuff, so I, don't, I didn't check it. I thought you know, but keep your keep your camera running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I know. to do the uh, tow and tracks? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it in tracks. If y'all want to bounce, I'll, I'll hang tight with the vehicle. Uh, sure, the let, me, let me print it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want a gun box or anything for that? Uh, what do you think that is? Well, from here, I don't... <laughs> would you, would it looks you, like a gun. Right. Yeah. It's a pepper ball. Yeah. You can't tell. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Well, from here it looks like a Walther. Yeah, it does. I thought it was a Glock. Yeah. But do you want a? Uh, I've got a, a pistol box in my trunk. Okay. Do you want? Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. She said she's got one that's coming. It did say the 38 is coming. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, hang tight. I'll try to say if you push it off, I'll just I'll I'll hang tight here while you okay, guys you. while you guys bounce. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do the tracks real quick. If you wanna go down there, I'm gonna have you in the interview room with with the whole time. Okay? And just record it on your body cam in the interview. Okay? So yeah, you guys can go. Uh Ramsey's there and, and uh, we'll take him in the side. And in, in the uh, motor office, area. motor office. Area. All right. Why are you not doing it? I got to do the paperwork. I can't sit there during the interview. I got to get the the, uh, the paperwork done. At least at least the probable cause to put them in, and then I'll do the whole report based on. Y'all yeah, put the uh, handgun box right there. Oh. See ya. Where are we headed, Deputy? Oh, substation, real right quick. Substation. If I'm in arrest, under arrest. I'll explain when we get there. Okay. Deputy, I'm asking you to please put in a communication to a lieutenant and get them there. Deputy, I'm asking you nicely to please advise the lieutenant to come out to the. They will.
kind of took what he went back to home. And probably 14 until he was wrong. That bar is zooming on the traffic, that bloody fast. Bravo, you can slow the entry. Nobody tower. Sunglasses on? You want them off? No, I'll keep them on. Okay. You want your shoes on? Uh, yeah. The problem is, is you're gonna have to help me a little bit. I can't. I can't do it by myself. So. Okay. Just take a seat. And I'll get them. question. Maybe you can help me. What's considered a concealed weapon? Isn't that a weapon you can't see at any time? I have no idea. Oh, come right. on. You what? don't know the statute? How are you on the road if you don't know the statute in 970? Come on, man. Come Put on. your foot in. 
Gotta, I'm just here to help. I'm just here to transport this. Hold the back light. Hmm. You gonna zip on time? Listen, we're gonna secure. I'm not gonna run. Can you just pop in my right wrist? No, not right now. Oh, come on, man. I'd have to follow my policy. Do I need to? Un sure. Do I need to uh, untie him? No, it has nothing to do with this that. This will be relocated to the address of the call. You can try. I don't think that's gonna matter. It's, it's, I can't get my ankle past that point. Yeah. There we go. Definitely. Sorry about that. Same scenario. Uh, uh, a little more. A little more. Is that good? Not yet. I'm sorry. Good? There you go. All right, stop. Walk to that gate over there. Hey, hey, where you need him? Here. Could you please get them in here? Go ahead and get the left. Right here? Yeah, I go left. Are you guys still recording? Stop, stop. So you hear me clearly asking, I see sector four captains here. So you guys are going to have them come in? Where do you want them at? Right there? Where? Right here? Yeah, All right, take a seat right here. The deputy to talk out there for you. I don't know anything. I'm transporting you, so that's not my case. All right. All right. So you believe that a deputy falsely charging somebody is an okay thing to do just because he's wearing sergeant stripes? I can't speak on that behalf, sir. Oh, you can't? No, sir. I'm not. Like I said, I'm transporting you. I don't know anything else. So you're transporting somebody on a false allegation or a false charge, right? I'm being told what to do, sir. I don't ask questions. So then I'm asking you, what's 970? Isn't it state that it has to be fully concealed so you can't see it? Isn't that what 970 is? Isn't that what concealed carry is? Can't answer that, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Carry a misdemeanor? Right? I have no idea.
No, sir, I just don't want to answer questions. Yeah, I'll put the sunglasses right in front of you. That's what I need, because my eyes are very, very, they, they hurt in the sunlight. So as long as you put them back on, we're good. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
I lied to you. I'm going to ask you one more question. You're going to stay in the room, right? Oh. Nah, you need to stay. Unless <laughs> I need you to stay because you're the only one with your camera recording. And no cameras in here. Stories always seem to change when certain people are uh, questioning me. at your sheriff's office even emailed him saying that he's legally carrying our weapons as long as they're pepper balls in plain view. Your lead attorney at your sheriff's office sent him the email, the same sergeant that's arrested.
Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, was there a restroom around here, man? I mean, how long is it? What are we doing? I mean, can I use the restroom? Yeah, um, I'll talk to you later, Evan. Hey, give me a moment. I gotta go to the bathroom too, but I gotta wait here. Okay.
Sorry, can I use the restroom yet? Yeah, in a minute. All right, thank you, ma'am. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? Good. I'll talk outside. I'm gonna give you a ride wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to go. Do you need a ride? <laughs> Where can I take you? Isn't it amazing how fucking nice you guys are when you <laughs> screw up? Thank you. Let's go. Come on. I need my uniform and my equipment back. What'd they say about all that? I don't know yet. Okay. Where can I take you? Uh, I honestly don't know. Are you guys the news? We are. Hey, let's go ahead and start that, buddy. He's going to give me a ride somewhere. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. I'll stand back while you talk to me. Okay. Give me a few seconds? Absolutely. Okay. You're not being detained. How's it going, sir? How you doing? I'm all right. Who are you guys with? Channel 2, Jeremy. Okay. Where's Mr. Fox at? He's back Do me a favor. I look like shit today because they took my gear and my uniform and I have no clothes on. So please try to make me look a little better. The sheriff's office dropped the charges, uh, along with the drug ordering the charges to be dismissed. Um, and that was because the arrest was unlawful. Uh, also, when the officer was arresting me, when he dragged me down I-4 by my helmet, while my neck was being held by my helmet strap, and he dragged me the two or three feet down the street before he took a gun out of my face for something I didn't do or no crime that I committed. Then I was detained and taken to jail until the judge this morning ordered me
got for us in the mail. And yet, never at once have I actually been convicted of anything that they're saying. And in fact, the deputy that arrested me yesterday is the deputy that's been instrumenting this whole case against me for the last two years. Other than the fact he drives me down I-4 while I'm at gunpoint, so he took his gun out of my face. We'll have to figure that out. The sheriff's office won't produce it. That's, I'm a very reasonable person, even though I have a gun in my face. Hey, Jeremy, can I ask you one question? Sure. As, some, as the owner of the company, maybe it's time just to sit behind the desk and have other people do the escort duties? You know, the problem with that is, is every time I send my guys out, the same deputy then harasses those guys as well. So, unfortunately, I can't take the chance. I'm one of those people that believe that I need to lead by example, not let people go out and run things, especially when they're out on the street and they're getting pulled over and harassed by the same deputy, receiving tickets by the same deputy. So, it's interesting to me that you would make that statement because one of my employees that did work for me that now is flipping state evidence, Sergeant Biddler got him a job over at PCI Security so he would turn state's evidence against me so he would stop working for me, which is kind of funny because that violates all kinds of state rules and laws that you can't offer somebody something to then have them testify against an individual. But that's their number one state lead witness. So, but he's got a job at PCI Security because Sergeant Biddler got him that job. So, unfortunately, I can't just send my guys out by themselves on a regular. I have to be there to make sure they're doing a good job. And also, I have to make sure that they're safe, not only from the traffic that we have to deal with on a regular basis in this. Orlando's a beautiful city, as you all know. Orlando's great. But as you all know, traffic is horrible in Orlando, especially I-4. And doing funerals, they have the right of way. You're required to yield the right of way, just like if they had lights on like an ambulance or a police car. You're required to yield the right of way per the law. The only people that don't are police and fire. So I have to go out and make sure that my guys are not only safe on escorts, but they're also safe from the traffic, but then they're also safe from the police. So the people that are here to protect us, and don't misunderstand me, please. Not all deputies and not Orlando and a lot of Orlando police and FHP, most of those guys are very good men and women that are doing their job. And we appreciate everything they do. I mean, the funeral today, I was watching it on the news in jail. Uh, that was an amazing service. You know, we were there at the other services for other law enforcement officers where we were invited. You can actually do your research and see that we were invited to those funeral services where we attended. So we've always been supporters of law enforcement. But it, unfortunately, there's a small group of law enforcement officers that are constantly harassing my company, not because of anything we're doing, because there's other companies in Orlando doing the exact same thing, the exact same way. The only difference is, is they're not owned by me. And that is, at the end of the day, the reason why we're being harassed. And anyone that does their real research, I've called you guys six, nine, multiple times. When you actually dug in and looked, you would see. So, anyone, anything else? Any other questions? No, nope. that's it. Thank you. I appreciate Thank your you, time, sir. guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So, All right. where are you giving me a ride to? Where do you want to go? Uh, where, where do you need to go? I actually have a ride here, so, I mean... That's up to you. I mean, if you don't want to ride with me, you don't have to take it. Well, I, I thought... Just as were... a courtesy. Okay. If you want to ride with me and, and go somewhere, I can take you. Or if you want to do your own thing, that's fine. Uh, no, you are I... free to go. You're not being detained. So if you want to come with me, that's fine. Well, I'll, put you, I'll put you in the back seat of the truck. The brand new truck, by the way. I see that. It's a beautiful uh, truck. It is. Can I see the inside? I would love to see one. Yes, you can. Uh, do you want me to take you somewhere? Then they want to give me a ride somewhere. Where do I need to go? Where do you need to go? Um, well, they realized that the arrest was unlawful and illegal, so they're, they're happy to give me a ride. Okay. I can give him a ride wherever he wants to go. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I know. I want to see the inside of the truck. You want to right? see the inside real quick? <laughs> Brand new. They're starting to shoot these. Yeah, this is... Oh, your outfit. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah, they seized all my clothes. How would I find out when I can get my stuff back? Yeah, I talked to his Marie. She, uh, Mira said you can get it right now. Oh, I can go to... Uh, property? Yeah. Yeah, property over there. Oh, yeah. Well, how long ago was this? I, when this happened? Uh, what do you mean? The when, when the, uh, yeah. 9:45. Yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you can always go over there. Okay. See what they say. You want to go do that? You want me to get a ride with him to the property at least? Do you have the phone number? Have you got scheduled an appointment, or at least gave him a heads up that That's you're coming? On the east side, right? No. Let him take us over there. Follow us over there. That way he can make sure it's handled properly. Please. Please. Okay. Have you guys contacted him yet or no? Where is it? Is it right there? It's 
it's over it, yeah, it's, it's on the 33rd. Of 34th. On 35th or something. Yeah, yeah. 34th. Yeah. Okay. You want to go over there? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, sure. I'm not riding. <laughs> Very clean. Much cleaner than yours. Clean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, a lot more room, Do you guys obviously. Have your, your detail professionally? No. We, no? we do it ourselves. Oh, I mean, wow. We run through the car washes like everybody else. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. It's got the wings and the front. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very sharp. Can't complain. Right, Even right, the back right. seat is roomy. All right. I'll, oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. So my next time I can ride in the back and be comfortable. Yeah. You follow me? I mean, if they confiscated your stuff, I don't know if it's made it to evidence yet. Okay. Oh. That's the thing. If it happened last night, the deputies confiscated or was it being held at the jail? No, they confiscated and seized it, they said, for evidence. The motor's deputies? Yes. Yeah, unless they picked it up early this morning and took it to uh, evidence, it might not be there yet. What is the number? I'll get you the number. Okay. Uh, it's right down the street, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, I can just well, take you over there if you want. To, if you just want to go over there, real quick. you know, please. It's, it's, it's literally across the street. Slide in, man. You're good. Just follow me over there, okay? Yeah, I don't think it made it to uh, evidence already. So you might have to wait a couple days and then call over there and schedule an appointment to go over there. Okay. And then they'll give you the stuff. But if you want, we can go over there and I can check for you real quick. Sure. Sounds good? Yeah. I mean, if it's not in evidence, it should be over at the motor office. It's going to be over there and it's just a matter of evidence uh, technician or personnel going over there taking it to uh, the, the main evidence building. They wouldn't be able to just release it to me at Motors? No, no. No, so it might take a bit. Alright, you ready? Where's that female at? Is she behind me? Or? She's in front? Okay. Well, it's brand new. Better be, huh? Yeah, all right. Let me uh, log this real quick. Transport. Oh, evidence. Starting mileage. One zero one six. All right. So I'm assuming this is a courtesy shuttle that nobody else gets except the one they get released on the <laughs> charges. Uh, no comment there, man. I was just told to come over here and give you a ride. <laughs> I'm not affiliated with that case in any way. I, hear you. I don't even know what's going on with that case, to be honest with you. I just got the order. There you go. <laughs> what do you do to get such a nice unit? Well, I don't really know. Uh, it, it seems kind of random to me. There's not really a, uh, like, this person is going to get this. Yes, it's really random how they issue uh, new cars and new equipment, stuff like that. Have you always taken care of your other stuff before? I have. I've always taken care of stuff. And I've been here a while, but it's not always about seniority. There's some young uh, deputies out there that got trucks as well. Or they get new laptops. It's just, I don't know how the process works, man. When your name is called, you, you, you just go pick go. up the new equipment. That's it, man. When the guys with the new equipment call, huh? That's it. But it, it is always nice getting new equipment. I bet. Charlie, too. You want the window down? Uh, no, it's all right. The AC is fine. All right. Do you happen to have the case number or no? Uh, I don't. I'm sorry. That's okay. She, probably she will. Right okay. She's well, I'll get with her. That way, I can just run in there, give them the case number, and see if they got your stuff. Jet 
How does the tow yard work? They towed my motorcycle. Do I still have to pay the tow yard, or how does that work? Well, uh, yeah, you're yeah, probably going to have to pay that. Huh. Which tow yard is it? Is it Johnson's? Like, no, they towed it all the way to uh, Winter Garden to uh, the car store. Yeah, yeah, so you have to go there and whatever they tell you to do, pay whatever. you got to pay and get it out of there, unfortunately. Have you ever been to Evidence over here before or no? Yeah, yeah. I've yeah? been there one time, a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't count on you getting your stuff back. Just giving you a heads up, because the uh, whichever deputy arrested you and took custody of your property, they'll have to release the property, obviously, and then it would obviously have to come here. Right. You have to release the property, and then you can come and get it. So we'll figure it out. But at least we'll give them a heads up. That way they can get with the deputy and they can release the uh, property to you. And I can give you the phone number if you need it.
Very lucky. Why is that? Oh, for, for the truck? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if she's got the case number. Jen, you got the case number? And then the actual property that you need. Yeah, the case number. You happen to have the case number so I can let them know, see what's going on? No, it's going to be the actual Orange County uh, case number. Do you have that or no? I think it's 21-21961. I don't know. All right, don't worry about it. Okay, no worries. Who, who was the deputy? Sergeant Viddler, Keith Viddler. And this was last night? Yeah, yeah uh, yesterday. No, 940, like 945 in the morning? Yeah, 945 in the morning. Yesterday. This all went down 945 in the morning yesterday? Yeah. yeah. I'll look it up for you real quick, okay? okay. Just hang tight under sure. the tree. Yeah. That happens every time. <laughs> All right. So, I inquired. I got the case number if you want it. It's I was almost there. 21693. So, 21-21693. If you want to write that down. I will. I would. That's important. Um, they actually got a hold of Vidler to yeah. see what's going on with the property. It's, it's not in evidence at the moment. And uh, he told the evidence uh, people that it's not being released at this time. Why? How is that possible? I cannot say why it's not being released, but it's not being released at this time. If you want to follow up, you, you know what you got to do. Right. But as a lonely deputy here, I'm just letting you know, I took you over here to figure out that the property is not being released at this time. Okay. So do what you got to do at that point to... I how that's possible. There you go. 21-21693. Uh, so 21-21693. Who do we call over at the sheriff's yeah. office to figure this out? Uh, who do you call over at the sheriff's office? Yeah. yeah. Do we call his captain, or do we call I mean, the Internal Affairs, or do we call, what do we call? I mean, you, you can always get in touch with the Motors Department, yeah, if, if I were you, just talk okay. somebody over there in Motors, since they, they handled the arrest and all that, okay. to find out what, what's going on with your property. I know I'm what's sure going you, on I'm, I'm sure you can speak to somebody over there as yeah, far as what's going on. Keep it and try to use it yeah, he so, can do that. Yeah, I mean, if you want to speak to somebody in Motors, maybe they can give you an explanation as to why they're keeping the property. No. You, you can do that. Okay. Okay? That's good. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, whatever. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> all right, all right take care, ma'am. You be safe. All right. Keep that truck looking like that. I'll try. <laughs> take it easy, guys. 